Um, this is, uh, I build this as a meditation, but it's a bit more than a meditation, actually. Um, when we meditate, we're concentrating in a particular way. And I think actually, in some ways, just sitting in a chair with a cup of tea doing nothing is quite challenging. It's sometimes, in some ways, a bit more challenging than meditating. Um, but also, in some ways, uh, just a bit more accessible because 15 minutes is relatively easy to fit into the day. And we have the benefit of having a companion with each of us, our our hot drink or our cold drink. Um, we've got something to do which helps us to just sit here and relax a little bit. So we're just going to do that. That's all we're going to do. We're going to sit and with our drink, have a sip when you want to, hold the cup in your hand if you want to, and just explore what it feels like to do this. So a good way to begin is just to take in our surroundings. Just in a relaxed way, just looking around us. Not actually picking out individual things, just getting a sense of the surroundings that you're sitting in. Then maybe having a sense of the temperature in your room. What's the air on your skin feel like? And your feet, if your feet are touching the ground, what's that feel like? I'm touching a, um, quite a cold floor, so I can feel the cold floor through my feet. But my feet feel quite warm. Notice what you can hear. Maybe bird song if you're near a garden. Or maybe other people. Maybe traffic. Whatever it is. Just actually accepting it as it is. Welcoming it in. Welcoming whatever sounds there are welcoming them in to your experience. <clears throat> and any smells you might smell, and they could be pleasant or unpleasant. So maybe there's not a lot that impinges on your sense of smell. <clears throat> Dan's joined us now. Good to see you, Dan. And the taste in your mouth, what does the taste in your mouth feel like? It's a bit indefinable, isn't it? A bit indefinable. And again, it could be pleasant taste or not quite so pleasant. Mark, see you now. Hello, Mark. So just sitting here with ourselves with our cup of tea or coffee or another drink. 
So maybe if you just put your hand around your drink, it might be hot or it might be cold. <clears throat> Hope it's not too hot. <laughs> um, and just what's that feel like? Just noticing the warmth or the coldness. And uh, it's quite interesting, I think, that if you close your eyes for a moment, can you tell where the cup or glass starts and your hand finishes? <coughs> <coughs> There's a sense of warmth, um, but can you really feel the cup? You can feel something in your hand. <laughs> so maybe we won't explore this too much, but it's just good to actually think about these things, I think. Good morning, Kate. So it's quite a good idea as well, while we're sitting here, just doing nothing, just to notice how, um, how we are. What are the kind of sensations in our bodies? We're not most of us not really very used to um, noticing the sensations in our bodies unless they're um, unless they're very strong either very pleasant or very unpleasant and then and then we do notice them but can we sit with the subtle sensations in our body as well there's all sorts going on in our bodies changing all the time. If we really look, we can see all sorts. The breath coming and going, obviously, always there. chest rising and falling in the sense of the breath coming and going in our nose and throat our hands full of energy and tingling holding the morning drink maybe we can just take in the whole of the body just sitting here relaxed, noticing the tingling of the body. All over the body. Just sitting with ourselves, enjoying the silence and the peacefulness and the companionship of a drink, a mid-morning drink.
any thoughts start to intrude or stories of what you should be doing the things you have to do just let them go you don't have to listen to them but be kind don't push them away just let them go just bring attention to any thoughts and what happens is that they just disappear as soon as we look at them They may be replaced by another thought, but just take a look at that and that will go as well. The trick is not getting caught up in thoughts, not pushing them away, just seeing them for what they are. If you're feeling this urge to get on and do something uh, or read something or occupy yourself in some way, just try and let it go. So that's our 15 minutes. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it was relaxing and peaceful for you. Um, and uh, Amy Louise has joined us, or got the comment part way through, says the power of peace and quiet and just being still. That's quite right. It's just wonderful. There's a lot of power um, in just doing this. It really, it really helps us during the day just to have quiet periods and in the modern world it can be quite difficult so this is a way of doing that of getting some peace and quiet and allowing our minds just to just to settle a little bit 